to my video. My name is Jaylene and I'm going to be filming my everyday get ready with me for work. This is my everyday makeup. Some days I don't wear lashes but for the most part this is my everyday base. If you want to know how I achieve this then just keep on watching. Hi guys! <laughs> get ready with me for work i always put on a full beat glam so i kind of just want to film the steps and kind of show y'all what i do i'm just gonna be putting on these clips right now into my hair oh <laughs> just so like my hair can stay out of my face because sometimes it starts to kind of cling on to my foundation went ahead and did some skincare the first thing that i like to go in with is the glow recipe i also like to go in with the estee lauder eye cream this has been my favorite moisturizer as of lately it's a korean skincare brand it's called soon jung and this is a two-time very intensive curtain so i already have that on and then of course some lip balm i'm gonna go in with some charlotte tilbury magic cream this just makes my skin so freaking glowy and so soft So I'm just kind of putting it everywhere. And I also like to take it down my neck. I'm now going to go in with some Fix Plus. Now the look that I like to go for is a very dewy, very hydrated, glowy glam. That's just been my jam. So I've been kind of using products that are going to make me look hydrated and make me feel hydrated because I have very dry skin. So after I've done the Magic Cream and the Fix Plus, I like to go in with some foundation. And the foundation that I'm currently wearing is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender and just start to pounce away. Now this foundation is more of like a medium coverage. I just love the way it feels on my skin. Like it just doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel cakey. It's very lightweight, but it is buildable so you can achieve it to like a more full coverage. Next, I go in with cream bronzer. The cream bronzer that I'm currently using is the Chanel Les Beiges Soleil Tan Medium Bronze. And for this, I'll use like a dual fiber brush. I really like this because it's very lightweight. And it just like, it blends like a dream. To me, it just magically blends easily. And I don't have to apply too much pressure to blend. Like, it just, it does it for me, I feel like. So once I've done, done blending this out, there's one product I'm looking for specifically. Oh my gosh, you guys. My phone was on top of my blush. Well, this is the blush that I was looking for. <laughs> it's the One Size Beauty Cheek Clapper. I think this is so cute and so convenient because it has three different types of blushes. There's a cream blush, a powder blush, and a highlight type of blush. I like to go in with the cream blush. Typically, I'll add it more like underneath the eye going outward, but I think I'm just gonna kind of like keep it a little bit more on the cheekbone area. I'm applying on generously. Mm -hmm. Like, I want you to look at me and be like, oh, she's blushing for concealer. Just like one of my favorite, favorite steps. I think concealer just kind of like completes the beat. It brings life into the beat. Okay, so this is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Awakening Concealer. Put her a little bit over here too. And then a little bit over here. A little bit right there. A little bit right here. A little bit right there. So I'm gonna let this sit 
on my skin. Once I finish letting it sit for like a few seconds, minutes, I'm gonna go in immediately with some setting powder. And the setting powder that I've been using is the Beauty Creations by Filter. By Filter Butternut bake loose setting powder. I got this at HEB. If you live in Texas and you have an HEB, go to your local HEB because they now added a beauty creations section in the beauty department. Thank me later. So I like to get my little triangle sponge, triangle powder puff ready. It's a little dirty because I've been using it for the past couple days already, um, but I'll just kind of like go in there. Yeah. And then I'll come over here, just like this. You can do this on the back of your hand, on the front of your hand, and I'll have her ready. The way that I like to blend on my concealer is kind of like gently tapping it. I don't like to really go full force, pouncing hard on my face. We're doing gentle. And I feel like this gives me like the most coverage, you know? So I'll kind of do the T-zone first before touching the eyes. So now I'm going to go in and blend out the eyes. And gentle pouncing. Sorry, I have to kind of take my mirror upward as well. And just so like my concealer can kind of like blend into the creases that I have. And then whatever is left over from underneath, I kind of like to bring it upward on my eyelid. I found doing this prevents cakiness. So in case I do have a little bit too much concealer underneath my eye, I can just leave the residue on top of my lid. I'm going to go in with the powder puff. And I'm going to lightly start to pat in that powder. And I'll also kind of set the side of my nose. But I just want you to, to just take a moment to look at the difference. Like, this is already blended out concealer, set concealer. You can still see the darkness underneath my eye. Especially this eye. Look at that eye. That eye is just a little messed up. It's a little dry. I don't know why. I just have eczema. I just have to deal with it. I try to keep her hydrated, but she's so stubborn. We don't talk about her now. Going in, blending out the other eye. Now both eyes are now completely set. As you can see, I'm going to be working on the rest of the face. I like to set a little bit of powder on my forehead as well. Um, my forehead is another place that tends to crease when I make expressions, especially mad expressions. I have to stop getting mad. And then I'll put a little bit of powder over the top of my nose. The sides are already um, powdered down. Powdered down. <laughs> They're already set. On top of my lip. And on my chin. Not every single time that I grab powder with a puff, I go in and I just pop it on back of my hand because i don't want to go straight into my face with a whole bunch of powder it's just gonna look a little bit more cakier and just uneven i found that when i didn't do this step it would just kind of put on an uneven layer of powder which i didn't like because some areas would grab onto the powder better than another area so it was just very uneven i really found that this step really helps me in getting an even application next i'm gonna go in with powder bronzer. The powder bronzer that I like to wear and use is the Makeup by Mario. This is, I can't remember if it's the second or third powder compact that I have from him. This has been my holy grail, right or die. I use the shade medium and the soft sculpt bronzer. I don't even want to share what it looks like on the inside because She is beyond beat up. Like so, I take my little angled powdered brush and I kind of just swirl her around on the edges because that's where I have most of the powder. I also love to expand the bristles on the powder brush. Um, when I'm going in with the powder, I kind of just like expand it 
And if you feel like you pick up too much product on a brush, go ahead and hit the back of your hand. And then same thing on my face. I love to expand the bristles of the brush. So the way that I'm applying on my bronzer might be a little bit different from what you are used to or you apply it. I apply it in kind of like in a stippling motion, especially on my forehead. And then I'll kind of go in and blend out after that motion. I just found this way, it gives me the most pigment. Like you can kind of see already like the border. We're gonna go ahead and blend that together. And also just bring down your bronzer. So just with my beauty blender, I'm going in and I'm blending out the forehead. I'm also going underneath that bronzer and just kind of cleaning it up. I have little to barely anything of the foundation left over and I didn't necessarily set these places just to make it look a little bit more precise. Then. The next step that I like to go back into is the One Size Beauty Cheek Clapper. I love to say that, Cheek Clapper. I'm gonna go in with the same brush. I'm gonna go in with the second, which is the powder blush. And it's so cute because it has these little like smiley face faces. So now I go ahead and contour my nose. I love to use this little Morphe brush. I'm not sure exactly what number it is. Um, it doesn't have a number on there. Blend two lines on my nose. Precisely more in the middle versus applying the two lines on the sides of my nose because that would make my nose appear whiter. Next is going to be my brows. You were probably wondering when I was going to do that. Now is the time for me to do that. The brow product that I love and I've been using for like the past almost two years now is the Brow Sculptor by Tom Ford. This is in the color number four espresso. In gold applicator. And this is actually a refill. So in the box, when you receive this eyebrow pencil, you receive already a refill and then the actual product. So you have two for one. And I just combed my brows up. I have pretty full brows to start off with. I really like the shape of my brows, but I do see that I have sparse areas. So that's kind of where I go and fill in the brow. Um, for starters, I like to go in the middle right here. Same thing on the other eyebrow. Fill in any sparse area. I just took a little bit of concealer and now I'm cleaning up underneath the brow. This is my favorite step, like this is my jam. This is the step where you can go in with your eyeshadow. I am not gonna do anything today. I'm just gonna kind of leave it like that. So I'm gonna grab actually like a mini brush and I'm gonna pat it with powder. Mm-hmm. That was Fix Plus. Next setting powder, I mean setting spray, Charlotte Tilbury. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna be using the One Size Beauty Till Dawn setting spray. I like to focus this like on my T-zone and my cheek area. I guess that's all over the face. It's just so strong. Oh, my forehead too. 
this is the part where I'm locked in. I'm locked in with my base. This is what I'm going to be looking like for the rest of the day. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. So I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder mascara. A way to prevent getting mascara onto your lid, grab a little mirror, look down, and kind of bring the bristles upwards. I promise you, babe, you won't get any mascara on your lid. Labios. I'm going to use this one. Trish McAvoy. Barely there. She's barely there. I love her for a nude lip. Chanel. Nude brun. I add her more in the middle. And then I'm also going to add her on the keep as well. For lipstick, Rouge Dior 449. She is the perfect name. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you found. She is that it girl. I'm going to go in with Dior Gloss, number 13. Get into this juiciness. <laughs> oh my god, I'm ridiculous. Okay, for lashes, we're just going to do my old trusty. These are beat up. I love her. She's my girl. She might be beat up, but she will forever be that girl. Okay, kiss lash glue with the applicator i draw a liner this is my personal lash glue if you are a makeup artist who does clientele makeup you can get the disposable lash glue applicators if you want to try this method it is going to make your lashes your client's lashes last until the next 48 hours, I promise you. Inner corners lifting doesn't make last year. I sometimes don't wear lashes at work, so when everyone sees me today, they're gonna be shook. These are like 15, 20 millimeter lashes. So you see the way that I'm applying it? I'm just looking down, I placed it on top with some tweezers, and lash band is there this like and then i just like push it even harder into my lash line i flip it upwards girl she is secured she is done over with look at that so fast i did that so fast there's no one faster than me a lot of people think i have lash extensions i don't these are lash strips old lash strips and then i'll just kind of flip them up mm-hmm mm-hmm and there you have it, folks. I will go in with some highlighter. Highlighter that I'm using is Tom Ford in the shade Moon Light. I just grabbed both shades. It's a very, very subtle highlighter. Very subtle. So it almost looks like it's a glow coming from within. I'm just emphasizing that glow. And if you want to take it a step further, you can get the Gucci Skin Balm. It also uses a lip balm. Put that on the cheeks, y'all. Girl, your skin is going to be glowing. This is my completed look. My everyday glow. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned. Comment down below your thoughts, your comments, and let me know what videos you would like to see next from me. I'm for sure going to continue to film makeup videos and kind of just showing you my tips and tricks and my products. Um, I appreciate you for staying tuned till the very end. So thank you for that. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.